All right, all right, all right. What's going on, guys? Thanks for coming back and checking out this channel. On today's video, um, we're going to be working on this K24. We're going to install an oil cooler. Uh, I, I ended up having laying around here. I've been meaning to install it on onto the K24, but I haven't had time. And I've been, I was ordering, I was waiting on some parts that I had ordered off of Honda. They finally came in. I ain't got nothing to do. Let's install this into the K24. A uh, little bit of progress update on the EG. Um, I got the windshield guys coming in tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow I can get some footage on the guys installing the windshield onto the hatch. Um, another thing I had going on that I finally was able to do, I ended up um, w mocking up the rad support so I could make sure that everything lined up, all the body paneling was going to be straight before finally welding the rad support on permanently. So yeah, everything's lines up perfectly which i'm super excited about um so yeah with that being said let's uh, start working on this k24 <laughs> This is what you're gonna need. You need the uh, oil cooler either off a of Type S uh, or a Z3 Civic Si. The hoses and the bolt that comes with the oil cooler. Um, this oil cooler comes with a O-ring gasket here. Um, I suggest you guys go right ahead and install that brand new. That's the part number you're gonna need in order to uh, install this. Um, what you're also going to need is what Honda calls a oil cooler joint, which is that piece right there. That's the part number. There you go. Um, if you guys watch any of my previous videos, when I went ahead and installed the uh, Type S water pump housing, you're going to need a water pump housing either off of Type S or Z3 uh, in order for this whole system to work. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'm um, going to set you up on a tripod and let's uh, get this installed. Alright guys, we're going to start off uh, with the number number 10 Allen socket. Yeah, you're going to need it to shove it right in there and there's a bolt, you know, and just release it. Uh, this one's already ended up pretty much loose, so... so yeah, this is the... Uh, going to be taken up out of there and you're going to replace this uh, bolt with this uh, oil cooler joint from Honda uh, part number boom right there so yeah that you're just going to shove it right in there a oh, matter of fact let me get some Honda bond um, we got a little bit of Honda bond here um, shove it in there just just in case give me a second Right. There you go. You, know, you might not need it. I don't know what that red uh felt like almost like Loctite for a second. I'm not really sure, but I like using it on the bottom on, on anything that's gonna of of, of importance. So yeah. So all you're gonna do is just screw it right in there, and um. That's gonna be a number 22 socket. Don't be a hero, guys. Just uh, tighten it until you feel it bottom out. Once it bottoms out, snug it a little bit, and that's it, man. Uh, 
more focus. Oh, come on. Boom, right there. That's the part number for the O-ring. Pretty self-explanatory. Just put it right on the back here. When you go to uh, put and install this, make sure that when you're installing it that the uh, that the uh, o-ring doesn't come out of place and uh, get pinched because that'll start an oil leak uh, you, you'll get it you'll have a mean oil leak yeah, I ended up just putting out uh, you know four little small dabs of on the bond just to hold the uh, gasket in place to make sure it doesn't fall off when I try installing it so yeah now you got the Honda bond gasket stays in place and it doesn't come off. Leave it loose so you will be able to uh, to rotate it side to side and make sure the uh, hose is fit uh, fit right. And then once the hoses are on, then you would torque this down to 54 uh, foot pounds. Mind you guys, on my last video, I ended up installing the K20 Tempest water pump housing. So if you guys didn't see that uh, that video, I suggest you guys go back and uh, and watch that video. Uh, mind you. This system with the oil cooler will not be possible, it will not work if you do not have this uh, water pump housing because it has uh, the provisions for on the water pump for these for this one side hose to get connected. So yeah. Let me uh, try to get an oil filter uh, to make sure everything's going to uh, clear nice. Um, yeah, I'll get back with you. So yeah, brand new OEM Honda filter. Uh, let me see, is that the part number? PLM Rio 2, yeah, right above the uh, barcode. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, what the hell's up with this camera? Right there. But yeah, let me uh, open it up and screw this thing in. So yeah, the oil filter, or the hose does rest on the uh, oil filter. Hopefully that's not gonna give me an issue. Uh, I'll probably put some, um, some heat tape on this hose where it's resting at just you know this oil filter gets pretty hot hopefully it doesn't melt it through it should be should be good because you know this hose is touching the other parts of the block and it's not melting through so it should be fine but yeah so yeah now let's um let's torque this bolt down to 54 foot pounds and you know put the, add the oil filter and that's it we're done with this uh, install
polish you up, guys. So yeah, oil cooler's on. Gonna slap uh, the uh, oil filter, and then that's it, guys. So, yep, just gotta move the hose a little bit over to the side. Be able to screw it. And voila, just like that, we got oil cooler onto a K24. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video informative, I'd appreciate it if you guys would hit uh, like the video, share the video, subscribe to this channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification down at the bottom so whenever I put out new content, you guys be the first to know. Uh, and until next time, stay blessed. Peace.